Toyota sent me this brand new Sequoia TRD Pro and I have been thoroughly enjoying it. But there's actually a few things that I don't like about the TRD Pro model and this specific vehicle in particular. In today's video, I'm gonna cover those real quick. This Sequoia is equipped with the optional TRD Pro roof rack, which looks really cool. It's got a nice design to it, matches very well with the TRD Pro image. It seems to be pretty high quality construction and also very functional. Unfortunately, it generates a huge amount of wind noise when driving at highway speeds. It's deafening inside of the cabin. And if this were my Sequoia, I would take that off in a heartbeat. Can tires ever be too big? Well, they can, but generally they tend to go the other direction, be too small. And such is the case with the tires that we get on this Sequoia TRD Pro. They're a set of 285 65s and proportional to the vehicle and to its lines, I feel like they're just too small. And unfortunately, they're actually a pretty decent tire, a set of Falcon Wild Peak ATs, which is sad because if I were to buy this vehicle, I'd be getting rid of these tires anyway, perfectly good tires to go up to a set of 35s. If you haven't seen an all new third generation Sequoia sitting on a set of 35s, they look awesome. And I wish that they would have come from the factory just like that. The new interior design on the Sequoia is probably my favorite thing about this new generation. I think it is awesome. It's got a really cool looking layout to it, very modern and upscale. It's comfortable and it's got a really nice level of luxury and tech features. There's just two things that I don't like about the TRD Pro model in particular that come off as very tacky to me. The first one is the Toyota lettering here on the passenger dash. I am not a fan. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you like that look? Because to me, I don't like it. I think that if I got a TRD Pro, that'd be one of the first things I'd be trying to modify is figuring out if I could pull off those letters or if I could just get a new accent piece that didn't have those. And the other one that doesn't bother me as much, but I don't really care for, is the TRD lettering here on the lower portion of the steering wheel. Again, I think it just looks kind of tacky. I think it would be nicer if that was just leather like it is on other models. And I feel like they're trying too hard to put a bunch of TRD and Toyota lettering throughout the cabin. If you do a lot of towing, these optional tow mirrors could be quite handy. We get two pieces of glass giving you different views. We've got this little light that illuminates the ground and they're also power extendable. So that'd be really nice if you're towing a lot, but I don't think it's worth the trade-off either because they look like elephant ears. They're way too big. They're bulky. Uh, you get a lot of wind resistance and they just make the vehicle a lot wider. And so I find pulling into tight parking spaces, I've got to retract them uh, so that I can fit in. And I'm just not a fan. If I were to get a TRD Pro Sequoia, I would definitely go with the standard mirror. And I feel like it is still plenty large to be able to see what you're towing. My 2022 Tundra Limited has a sticker price of about $20,000 less than the Sequoia TRD Pro. And even so, it came with the full panoramic sunroof. And I feel like that should be a standard feature on the TRD Pro, not only because of the price point, but also because the TRD Pro is supposed to be the halo model of the Sequoia lineup. It's such a cool looking vehicle with all of the unique accents that you get, especially with the solar octane orange. This is a vehicle that's really supposed to stand out and to not have the panoramic sunroof, it really takes away from the vehicle. Um, it adds so much to the cabin, having all that light coming in and just kind of gives it the effect of being a really cool model. And I feel like the standard sunroof just doesn't do this vehicle justice. So those are a few things that I don't like about the TRD Pro Sequoia. Are they things that I could overlook? Well, if Toyota told me that I could keep this Sequoia, I absolutely could. I'm quite sad that they're gonna be taking it back, but such is life. Love to hear what you guys think about the things that I mentioned in the comment section below. And for more videos of the all new Sequoia, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.